Margo. I wanted to read the story by Gail Gibbons called Christmas Is, and it explains why we celebrate Christmas. And we'll talk a little bit at the end about my uh, stable up here that your great grandpa Fred made for all of my nativity statues. This book, I bought it at FAO Schwartz at your airport in Los Angeles when I came to see you just recently in November. I like Gail Gibbons. She's one of my favorite children's authors too. If you ever get a chance to buy one of her books, she's a great author. Um, she also wrote The Mitten, which is a fun story. Maybe mommy can get you that for daddy. Christmas Is by Gail Gibbons. Christmas is the Christ child. Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. It is on December 25th. This is why we celebrate Christmas. The word Christmas has the word Christ in it. Did you notice that? He was born to save us and to give us a spot in heaven with him. Many years ago in the town of Bethlehem, the baby Jesus was born in a stable. His parents, Mary and Joseph, were traveling and could not find shelter at the inn, so they placed him in a manger. On that night, an angel told three shepherds of the birth of Christ the Lord. They traveled to Bethlehem to find him. had to walk a long way. They didn't have a, a map or Google or any cell phones to help them. What directed them was the star. They just kept following the, the star in the sky. In the dark night sky, a bright star appeared over Bethlehem. Three wise men followed it to the stable. They brought the Christ child gifts. There's that star I was telling you about. It was so bright, everybody in the world could see it. And all the wise men did was follow it. And then that's when they found the Christ child. He is king, but he was a very humble king. He didn't need a palace. And he was born in a very humble stable because he came to earth as man not as a as a king so everybody adored him the shepherds and the wise men worshiped the christ child they were joyful and believed he was the son of god that's why he was so special who would bring peace and love to the world oh and we could sure use some of that can't we Christmas has many symbols. Christmas is angels. The word angels means messenger. Angels announced the coming of the Christ child. They announced it, they were the messengers. Christmas is the creche or creche. It's a display of the manger scene at the birth of the Christ child, creche. Grammy has one right here. And I nailed you a real small one when you were just seven months old. Christmas is St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas lived a long time ago and he loved giving gifts and helping people. He was just as real as Jesus was. And Santa Claus. Over time, he became known as Santa Claus. St. Nicholas became Santa Claus. It is said that St. Nicholas threw three bags of gold down a chimney where three poor girls lived. One of the bags landed in a stocking hung by the chimney to dry. That's how they dried their, their clothes that they washed and St. Nicholas threw in some coins and they landed in the stockings. And that's how we got the tradition of hanging our stockings by the chimney. 
Maybe that is why nowadays stockings are hung for Santa to fill and why some people think Santa slides down chimneys. Because of what St. Nicholas did long ago. Christmas is Santa's reindeers too. Many people say Santa Claus jumps into his sleigh on Christmas Eve to deliver gifts, his reindeer pull him through the starry sky. Christmas is the Christmas tree. A Christmas tree is an evergreen. It stays green year round. That's why it's evergreen. Isn't it fun learning about all these Christmas traditions? Christmas trees for sale. Some people buy real trees that have been chopped down, and some people have artificial trees that they take out of a box. Either one is appropriate. Sometimes people are allergic to the real tree and have to have a special tree from a box. Some people pick out a tree and bring it home to decorate. Christmas is Christmas lights. Many people decorate their Christmas trees with lights. The lights look like heavenly, heavenly stars. The star on the top of the tree represents the bright star that appeared over Bethlehem. Remember we talked about that shining star that helped them find the Christ child? Some people put candles in their windows and decorate their homes with lights. The Christmas lights are to remind people of the light the Christ child brought into the world when he was born. He brought hope to all people. Christmas is Christmas ornaments. Many people decorate their Christmas trees with ornaments. I bet you'll be doing that real soon. Mommy can tell you all about the special ornaments she has. And uh, I don't know if Daddy has any special ones. He's going to show you, but you could ask Daddy too. Christmas is holly wreaths mistletoe. Holly, it's like all these things here. Holly, the wreath. And mistletoe right there. You're supposed to kiss if you stand under the mistletoe. Christmas greens and flowers add to the joyous atmosphere. And poinsettias too. Oh, Grammy loves these Christmas flowers. You know, they're called the Christmas flower or the winter flower. And if you get one, they last for a long time, but they really grow on bushes. Yeah, in Hawaii, when we went and saw um, your grandpa, your papa, and I went to see um, Uncle Steve, the one who sent the Melikiliki Maka book. Grammy and, and uh, papa saw all kinds of bushes with those poinsettias on there. They grow on bushes, who knew? The poinsettia is the most popular flower at Christmas time. In Central America, it is called the flower of the holy night. Uh, maybe one day we'll craft together and we'll make a poinsettia. Christmas is Christmas cards. People like to send Christmas cards to let everybody know they're thinking of them on this special day. People remember family and friends and send cards wishing them joy. Christmas is gift giving. The three wise men brought gifts to the Christ child. Christmas is a time of giving gifts to show our love for others. I think giving the gift is just as much fun as getting the gift. Picking out just the right one. I like wrapping the gifts too. Christmas is Christmas dinner. There may be special foods and candies. 
Often families and friends get together for a Christmas feast. You see the holly at the top? Gingerbread is another tradition. Gingerbread houses, candy canes, special food. Christmas is Christmas carols. That's a nice way of saying Christmas songs. And lots of times people would gather together and go caroling, visiting people at their homes, knocking on their doors and singing outside to make everybody get in the mood for Christmas. Mommy used to take Gram or Grammy used to take your mommy to the hospital with her with uh, mommy's friends when she was in Girl Scouts and we would sing to the people who couldn't be home for Christmas. And sometimes we would visit nursing homes too to cheer people up. Christmas is Christmas carols and prayer too. On Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, many people go to church to hear the story of the Christ child's birth. They pray for good throughout the world. Look who's up here, baby Jesus. Christmas is peace, love, and joy. You bet. Christmas is by Gail Gibbons. I hope you enjoyed that true story of Christmas. I'm going to flip the camera around now so that you can see our stable that your great grandpa made. My statues are a little bit too big. <laughs> My original statues all broke, so I had to get a new set and they just didn't have the right size. I'm gonna have to keep look for those, keep looking for those. But do you notice the, the manger in the stable is empty? That's because Baby Jesus hasn't been born yet. He'll come on Christmas morning. There's my little Christmas tree. There's that special star at the top to show the three wise men the way to go to find the Christ child. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story of Christmas. And I hope you love my shirt. This grandma loves Christmas because of the Christ child who came to give us peace throughout the world and to guarantee my spot in heaven and yours too. I love you.